Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Oh, this week has been so stressful, so, so stressful. I tried to vlog and I did vlog a few times, but this week was a lot. I've never felt this bad in a long time, but not really bad. It's more so, um, I, how do I explain it? Let's just say I was very stressed and very overwhelmed not with youtube or work or anything i don't really know why my i was just feeling very anxious and it's almost like i was bracing myself for bad things to happen you know when you're like bracing yourself for like impact or like a bad that's how i felt and being in that sort of mind frame mindset is very dangerous because i feel like when you are constantly worrying or thinking that bad things are going to happen bad things do happen so i was just really i don't know it was just really really bad and um this is kind of personal and kind of private something that i don't even want to focus on too much because i'm also not ready to talk about it or anything like that but i do go to therapy for like depression and and anxiety it's something that i struggle with and it's something that i try to stay on top of because i know how dangerous it can be if i neglect it and just don't take care of myself mentally so i do go to therapy um it's not something that i do on like a weekly basis or anything i kind of go on a on need to basis but i definitely need to stop that and go even when i feel good so whenever i'm feeling okay i tend to just not want to go because i'm like oh i'm not gonna go waste my money because i'm feeling okay right i only go when i'm like at rock bottom well almost there you know but i'm gonna start going because um yeah i kind of like when and it definitely helps me a lot like i feel a lot better now but I caught myself trying to vlog and honestly like I was vlogging and I just started like crying like out of nowhere because it's like I'm sad but I don't know why I'm sad and I always get this way in the winter time the cooler months mostly because it's just a lot more depressing outside which really has a really bad effect on my mood as well so but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys some clips that I filmed during the week and then you'll come back to me in like the present time. It's Saturday today, Saturday the 23rd. I'm up uploading this vlog tomorrow. I'm about to go film some videos because I really didn't film this week as much because as I said, wasn't feeling too great. But yeah, um, on to more positive things. I did my makeup. Um, this is what it looks like. It looks really nice and natural. I wanted to film it, but the sun was like this. The glare and everything, which really doesn't really work. And also, I'm using these lashes by a company called Amara Lashes. You're going to see me unbox these in like a clip that I'm going to include. So I'm wearing the one called Loaf, the, the style called Loafer. And they're so nice. They're 3D mink. I'm wearing them right now. I'm completely obsessed with them. Like, they look so nice. Um, I had to cut them a little bit, like, the ends. Just, like, a little baby piece. Only because, like, the width of my eye, like, the width, is just not as wide as the lashes were. So, I kind of, like, cut them. But, yeah, I'm very obsessed with them. And they are reusable. So, I can't wait to just come home, wash them, and put them back. Because I'm going to wear these for a long time. I love them so yeah that's pretty much what's going on so and of course I don't want to just shut the door on this because this is a very for me it's kind of like a touchy-feely topic like mental health and I know you guys always see like the positive bubbly Octavia type of person but that's really not the reality all the time I just want you guys to know if you're going through a rough time you know definitely go see someone and speak to someone and you know it definitely really really helps so with that being said let's watch the clips that um i filmed <laughs> and i'll see you guys later or back here and we'll talk some more okay bye hey guys good morning it's monday today i'm getting ready to go to 
the doctor. Um, I do have three doctor's appointments today. My friend's gonna drive me actually because I just don't want to Uber and <laughs> they're nice enough to take me. So I have, first I have the dentist and I'm just gonna get a fill. If you guys didn't know, well if you guys remember, I filmed a vlog a few weeks back, months back, where I was at the dentist because I had a cavity. I had two, one here, one here, but I kind of punked out on, on the second one because I'm afraid of needles and it's just too painful. So I was like, I'll come back next weekend. Never went back. It's been like five months. I need to go get that handled. The lights really yellow here because of the The light but I'm going to show you guys my outfit really quickly So this is my outfit for the doctor's appointment. I just have on like this white pretty little thing sweat um, Sweat thing. Um, I'm just gonna be wearing this, um, you know and my regular jewelry um, You know my necklaces and then my stuff. So this is pretty much what I'm wearing today. Um, just really comfy, cute, and of course I'm gonna be wearing my UGG boots. I'm gonna be bringing my work bag only because I packed this last night and I don't feel like unpacking, so I'm gonna take it. And I know it has all of my, you know, my ID, my medical card, everything that I do need for for my appointment. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So, uh... hey guys, so I'm back home. I'm gonna be doing a little unboxing. I got a couple packages. Um. First one here is from a company called Amara Lashes. Um, the owner of this company is really, really sweet. I was emailing back and forth with her for a while, but and she wrote me a little note here. So it says, it says, Octavia, thank you so much for supporting Amara Lashes. Amara Lashes, love your YouTube channel. Included are two of her best-selling styles loafer and transparent we have included a discount code for you as promised for for your subbies you guys um, for five dollars off their purchase during the holiday season use code octavia5 cheers christina thanks christina you're so sweet so let's see what she sent me so packaging you know i like that so this is what it comes in like a little transparent little baggie here and then these are the lashes here so it's basically wrapped in tissue paper and it looks like this and it has a little seal so let's unwrap now I checked out her lashes on on her site and they look so nice I you guys are gonna die they look oh my god they look even better in person but this is the lashes so this is the one of the styles let me see what style it is this is transparent it's 3d mink lashes Re reusable up to 30 plus wears so this is what the lashes look like so this is transparent as i said um whoops Ooh, very nice lashes feels very like silky and lightweight as well so this is what the lashes look like and this little packaging is very cute i must say so this is transparent i can't wait to wear them the next one I have is the next one I have is loafer, and this is what it looks like in the packaging as well. Same packaging. Let's open it up. This one's more of um, um I don't know how to, how to describe it, but it's more wispy. But this is what it looks like. Um, very very nice. Um, yeah, very very nice lashes. Very, very nice. I cannot wait to wear them. You get, they feel so soft. They feel like nothing. They just feel like air. <laughs> but yeah, these are the lashes. Thank you, Christina, for sending me these. I can't wait to try them on. Definitely will be wearing these for you guys. So those are my two lashes. And the packaging is just very simple, you know, my style. Right, moving on to hair. Beauty Forever sent me some hair. And I'm actually going to be doing... Um, sort of like um, I want like long black hair or I want to do like an ombre kind of look I'm gonna insert a picture on the screen I either want that or like long black hair so um, I got a I forgot what they sent me actually okay 126 inch 124 inch and 222 inches 
So I'm gonna be trying out this hair also, especially for my babes, you know, you guys who are in college, you, those of you who are on a budget and you can't really go and ball out on hair all the time. I wanted to try out this hair for you too and to show you guys what it will look like on, you know, Hello? All right guys, sorry, my boss just called, but yeah. Um, I got four bundles. Um, they're all here. Ooh, this is long. This is a 26 inch. Um, I'm just very excited for like long hair, you guys. I, don't want, I just want it to be longer. So I'm gonna give my Takara Miller hair a break and then switch over to this. So yeah, that's the plan. So now I'm gonna do, just go wash my makeup brushes and clean up my makeup desk. I'm gonna film a separate video for that because I think it might be a little bit relaxing. So I'm gonna film that right now. Um, yeah, that's it for <laughs> that's it for today's unboxing. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, so one video down. Let's see how it looks. I after I film, I like to um, import the footage onto my computer, and then I like to see how it looks on like the computer first. And then make sure that everything's looking how it's supposed to look and then we go from there Usually I hate it like this week for example For example filmed these Like a few weeks ago, but I just hate how it looks so I decided not to use them or I might use them still I don't really know yet depends on how well I can edit them, but yeah usually on the camera Usually on the camera they look good, but then you put them on the computer and it's a whole different story So I'm gonna just get the footage up on this first and then we can see Fingers crossed Okay guys, so it's about one o'clock right now I just finished filming two videos and I think that's pretty much it for the day um, I don't have plans um, So today tonight I'm going to just focus on editing my videos and you know that stuff and then I'll film some more tomorrow so right now I'm going to head out to Ani Ramen to grab some ramen I'm going alone and I'm kind of like worried because this place is brand new so a lot of people are going there it's like a hype place so I know I'm gonna look crazy just eating alone but it's fine I'm gonna still go I'm not going to let that stop me so I'm gonna go to Ani Ramen, it's one o'clock now, and I know it won't take me too long to eat. Then I'm going to go to Starbucks, which is right across the street from that, and just do some stuff on my computer, my laptop, and just, you know, see what can be done. Sorry. I'm just going to do some work on my computer, answer emails for YouTube, and just respond to like comments and just do some miscellaneous things and then at three o'clock I have a massage scheduled so I'm just gonna be out the house until around like five so that's pretty good um let me open my window so I can get some fresh air in here um sorry the lights like why am I like why is it like blacked out like that okay So I took out the organizer because it makes my bag seem too big. So I'm just gonna use it without it. I'm just putting my charger and everything. It looks very unorganized and everything, but it'll be okay. However, I'm going to take my mini pochette and put like my ear pods in it, my chapstick. Um my gum also my wallet so I won't have to be like searching around for it also gonna bring my sunglasses I'm also taking some wipes so I could take off my makeup in the massage place and I'm gonna bring the case for my eyelashes so I don't lose them and that's pretty much all I'm gonna bring in this bag for today and I think I have a thing for my charger as well. So let me see for my phone. Okay, that's pretty much good. That's all I'm gonna be bringing.
Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. My room is really messy right now. I'm sorry. Also, my Uber is here, so we need to get out. Hey guys, so it's Sunday today. I didn't really vlog after my massage only because I kind of just came home and just wanted to focus on editing editing my videos because I have I want to upload every day this week so I wanted to make sure that I have everything in place. So um, yeah, I just got some groceries delivered. They're currently on the floor there. Sorry for the mess I am here. But let's do a really quick grocery haul, shall we? Um, I got some groceries because honestly, my fridge is empty and I'm trying to avoid, you know, ordering food and all sorts of stuff because whenever I order food, I don't always make the healthiest decisions because there's not that many options around here. So, so I'm just going to do a little grocery haul for you guys. So let's jump right in. The first things I have here is just a watermelon. I've been craving this like crazy and they had it at the grocery store I ordered from. And yeah, it's organic and it's a mini watermelon. I'm so happy to just, I'm so excited to cut this open right now. Um, let's see what else we got. In this bag, I just have a cantaloupe and I love just having fruits. Um, the next thing I have is a bag of sweet potatoes. I've been loving sweet potatoes lately, so I ordered a whole bunch. So I just have like eight in here. Um, then I have two things here of white onions. Next up I have are um, two bags of spinach. Um, I'm still not really having meat, so my meals on a day-to-day -day basis is pretty much just veggies and fish. And sometimes I don't even have fish. I've just been eating like lentils and um chickpeas and stuff like that i really haven't really had any fish i have this big thing cute this cucumber and three things here of jalapenos um the next thing i have here is a pineapple um yeah i've just been having fruit and <laughs> veggies a lot and then i have two things here of scallions because it's honestly my favorite thing to eat i love scallions then i have um carrots three carrots here and then i have three um things here of pomegranates um oh my god i love pomegranates so much usually usually i purchase the little cup things the one that is already you know shelled and everything not shelled but outside of this but i feel like those are like 4.99 and i can buy like two pomegranates for that, that price so why not just do it myself so i have um i got three of this and they weren't too pricey they're definitely on the pricier side but it's okay like i'll just get it 
Next up I have, um, what is in here? Oh, I ordered a red snapper again because I thought I wanted some fish soup again. So I got a red snapper to make my fish tea, my fish soup. Because um, I've just been obsessed with that soup lately. I'm not going to lie. Then in this bag, I have two um, essential water. This is a very like hype water and I've never had it before and I heard it's like really really good So I got it because I wanted to try it out and see if maybe this will be a lot better than my smart water that I absolutely love So I got some Essentia Then I got a little box of penne pasta Yep, penne pasta and I like to make this with like tomato sauce and spinach in it and garlic, like really, really spicy. It's very, very good. I like to make that. I might make that one day I'm, and just show you guys. And then I just got some Carolina jasmine rice, white rice. In this bag, I got, okay, I got my tomato, basil, garlic, um, pasta sauce. I really like to use this one. I know there are like better brand but for some reason I really like this for some strange reason and then I got a little scotch bonnet hot pepper sauce they did not have any scotch bonnet peppers at this store so I just got this to use in addition to the jalapenos then I got some golden corn because I I've been having that a lot then I just got some more of the the grace like soup stuff so the pumpkin flavor and the fish tea flavor to put in the soup and you know other miscellaneous things and I got some corn as well because I like to kind of cook these with like the scallion and the onions and the sweet potato and make kind of like a little lunch corn salad and I like to put some chickpeas and some black beans in it as well to kind of make like a bean salad it's been really really nice it's really really good too like i never thought i would like that but it's really really good so i have the chickpeas and the black beans and i also use this to make curry so anytime i'm craving something like curry chicken or curry goat i just use this and i put the jamaican curry sauce and the onion the scallion the pepper the carrots everything that you cook with the, your curry chicken and this just really helped to make it you know satisfy that craving that you might have and finally this is my final bag I just have some cranberry juice um, just the original cranberry juice I love cranberry juice a lot and then I randomly saw this it's a cranberry flavored ginger ale I saw this the same time I was purchasing the juice I saw this and I was like that's interesting so I got this. I don't really drink soda, but I like to drink soda. <laughs> but I don't really drink it that often. And if I do drink soda, it's ginger ale. So that's pretty much it. And the final thing that I got is just a LaCroix passion fruit little beverage here. So that's pretty much all that I got for my groceries. It's a majority of fruits and vegetables because as I said, this is pretty much what I've, I've been eating the past few days. I do have some fish left in my freezer. I do have some stuff left in my freezer, like, you know, some fish and some tortellini. If I were to want, like, something more, you know, like, meat-based. But I'm not, like, a vegan or a vegetarian or anything like that. No, I'm not. But ever since I've kind of, like, made these little adjustments, so no, like, dairy, no meat, my body has just been different. Like, I have more energy now i don't feel as you know so definitely like it a lot so i'm definitely gonna stick to it for a long time especially seeing as though i like the feeling definitely going to do it so i'll check in back with you guys later i'm gonna cook also so i'll show you guys what i decide to make for dinner and then you know i'll see you guys later on hey guys back in my kitchen time for dinner but not quite yet i'm still just prepping my fruit for the week so i cut up some watermelon this is gonna go in my fridge actually let me put it in the fridge now because so um watermelon is in just gonna put it like that i don't have the top i don't know where it went so just gonna use a saran wrap 
Next up, I'm gonna just cut up the cantaloupe and put in that plate and then do the same thing. But um, yeah, um, time for dinner, but I was kind of waiting for a Zara package because I wanted to film a little haul. Zara haul, it still says out for delivery, but it's after three now, so I know for a fact they probably won't bring it anymore. So for dinner, I'm gonna be making this the red snapper. I'm still deciding whether or not I'm going to steam it, fry it, bake it, or make soup. I don't know yet, but this is what we're working with. Um, I just have some scallions chopped up um, to the side here because I love scallions so much. Then I have the red snapper. Then I have some thyme. I have a whole bunch of carrots, and then I have some jalapenos on the side here chopped up. I think I'm gonna make soup, but I'm not exactly sure yet. I don't know why these things are back here. But yeah, I might make soup with like one pumpkin and then one of the fish tea thing. And then I might put some, um, so I'm thinking of putting some jasmine brown rice inside the soup and turn it into like a fish and rice soup. I think that would taste really good. I've never done it before nor tried it, so I'm not really sure, but I really don't see how it would be bad. Sorry for the sound, I'm, running the dishwasher but yeah that's kind of like my plan so i'm gonna just put this here and just see i don't like a ton of stuff in my soup i only like carrot and just a whole bunch of herb that's how i like my soup and like potato but i don't have any so i'm gonna use rice instead but we'll see i'll keep you guys updated on what i decide to do so i currently have the water on the stove boiling I'm just going to drop the carrots and all the herbs in right now. So let the carrots and the scallion and the thyme, they're just going to drop it into the pot. Allow that to boil for the meantime. Um, I'm going to put a little lid on it. Also, for the rice, being seen as though rice doesn't take that long to cook, I'm going to add this towards the final like 20 minutes before the soup is done. And then I'm gonna start in, but like not now, like later on. Also, the fish cooks really fast as well, so I like to cook the vegetable first, and then I'm gonna put the rice in. Then I'm going to add the fish at the very end because it cooks in like five minutes, if that. Because you know, fish just cooks very fast in like water. Like when they boil it, it just you know. You guys already know that I'm sure. So I'm gonna continue slicing up my fruits now, and then I'm gonna just put them in the plates. And then just so I can have it for like a snack whenever I get hungry. The thing about my diet is what I've been finding to be really helpful is just having snacks on hand. So when I do get hungry, I'm not trying to order food or reaching for anything. I just always have meals ready to go or planned. So And then the soup is going to serve me for like two days. So today's dinner and tomorrow's dinner. Even tomorrow's lunch and dinner because I really can eat this all day. It doesn't matter to me. And then I can just have, you know, some miscellaneous things. Tomorrow, I don't know what I'm gonna have yet, but for tomorrow's lunch, I'm gonna make like a corn bean salad. I'm going to include that in like another vlog though, because this one is already at 27 minutes, so. Hey guys, so I got a couple packages. Of course, Zara just came. My Zara package just came. I also ordered another phone case on um, Apple. I got the lavender gray one because I've been feeling like the, the cool tone, um, you know, gray vibe. Plus, it looks really nice with my nails. So I was like, let me get it. Also, my Zara package came. I'm gonna be filming a haul. So. Yeah, let me just show you guys. All right guys, so now this is what it looks like. The water has reduced a lot as you can see. What I like to do now is just squish out the carrots, like mash them out a little bit. And that's gonna give my soup that kind of like thick base. And after adding water, I'm going to drop in the pumpkin one. And let me put you guys over here. Cause I don't have my tripod right now. So I'm gonna just drop the pumpkin um, soup mix. And I'm just gonna Put it in the pot and basically just stir it out. I'm also going to add this one in as well. But this is pretty much what the soup um, is looking like. The base and everything looks pretty good. And then so after I added the soup mixtures, I added the rice. I only put a little bit in there. I didn't put too much because I didn't want the rice to kind of absorb too much of the broth and you know all of that. So I didn't put too much. Just a little bit just for you know some texture I guess. Okay, so a few moments later, I added the fish, and 
this is pretty much what it looks like. I just dropped the entire thing in there. I don't really slice it up or anything. So now I'm just gonna wait for this to boil, the rice to cook, everything else that's in it. Then I'll show you guys the finished product once that's done. Okay guys, so the soup is done. Um, this is what it looks like. If you guys could only smell it, it smells so good. It's definitely a lot thicker and more, you know, hearty. Um, usually with fish tea soup, you know, it's kind of like more broth, you know, and kind of like, you know, thin and stuff. But being that this is going to be like, I wanted this to be more of like a hearty meal, you know, so that's why I put all the stuff in it but it's definitely but it's definitely nice and thick and just really really good um but yeah i'm gonna eat this right now and for those of you currently on instagram telling me to upload a video i wanted to show you guys how i made the soup first okay so thank me later all right guys thank you for watching this vlog and i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one bye